Mr. Speaker, does this Minister of Public Safety expect us to believe that for three months his office withheld information from him about the most notorious murderer and serial rapist in Canada, that he had been transferred to a medium security prison? It's clear the minister likely knew about the transfer in March and did nothing. The entire government likely knew and did nothing about it including the Prime Minister's office. When will the Prime Minister finally admit that he has lost total control of his cabinet and ask this minister to resign? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, I want to begin by taking a moment uh, to express my support for the families of Leslie Mahaffey and Kristen French, who have no doubt been traumatized time and time again uh, by the decision that was taken under Correctional Services Canada. That's why when I found out on May 30th, I took immediate action to reach out to the Commissioner to express those concerns. And I want to work with all members to make sure that this doesn't happen again. The directions that I have put into motion will ensure that I'm directly briefed and most importantly, that victims are given advance notice before these decisions are taken in the future. Thank you very much. The Honourable Member for Haldeman Norfolk. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister is in town, so why won't he stand and answer these questions? The Minister the Minister has misled Canadians before. He has said at least 11 times that law enforcement requested the Emergencies Act. That was false. He said that Bill C-21 wasn't going to ban guns used by hunters and farmers. That was false. He said that Chinese police stations in Canada had been shut down. That was false. Canadians have lost confidence in this minister. So will he do the honourable thing and just resign? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, on each and every one of those priorities, this government has defended public safety in the interest of all Canadians. When it comes to fighting against gun violence, we are banning AR-15s. The Conservatives want to make them legal again. When last year we faced an unprecedented national emergency, we invoked the Emergencies Act a decision which was validated by Judge Rulo ind independently. What did the Conservatives do, Mr. Speaker? I, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt. What I will say <laughs> is when it comes to fighting gun violence, we're banning AR-15s. The Conservatives want to make them legal again. When it came to the decision to invoke the Emergencies Act, Mr. Speaker, we defended that decision to restore public safety. Conservatives were doubling down, encouraging illegal protesters to stay in the region they should have left. We'll always...